morning y'all good morning good morning good morning so y'all it is i think so what it's saturday and i'm it's saturday and i'm just sitting here chilling um i'm finna get ready to make me some breakfast really quick but i had set jacob up on his little playmate y'all but the keyboards keep moving hold on look at them keyboards keep moving He had to kick it so yeah he was sitting there playing with the lamette thing but i gotta put it somewhere else because it's like the little the thing moves <clears throat> he had to have some behind it because it moves yeah his part moves yeah He know how to do it. He was doing it earlier today. See? Here it is. You got to just turn it. Oh, yeah. Jacob. Oh. Say hey. Say hey. Say hey, Jacob. Say good morning, RJ. Good morning. Jacob. Good boy. Oh. Good yeah, you trying to talk. Oh, they came off of this. You want me to put it back on? It's easy, just. You just got to just put it back on. Right when we was upstairs, he was getting it on this little thing. See? Boom. See, you got all your shapes. Uh, I guess he ready to get up, y'all. Good morning, y'all. It is the next day. I have not finished recording yesterday because we... Did not do anything yesterday. Um, as you know, we in the house. Excuse my look, honey. I'm tired. And it's not even morning time because it's going on almost 1 o'clock. <laughs> so good afternoon. But, y'all, I think you're ready to fix the boys some lunch. I'm actually tired. I slept in a little late today because, honey, Jacob kept me up throughout the night last night. He was just being fussy. And then this morning he woke up. He was so sleepy. I ain't, he fights his sleep, y'all so bad like he'd be he'd catch himself dozing off and he'd jump up and then start crying and start moving his little arms and kicking like he do not be wanting to go to sleep he just wants you to hold him up so he can look around as long as you hold him up we can look around the room he fine you get to put him in a little position for him to go to sleep or he start dozing off he get to cry and acting crazy so that's what he went through last night and this morning around about seven he woke up did not want to go back to sleep he was crying but then he'd start dozing off he'd jump up and Oh, Lord have mercy. So, a little bit of tired. But anyway, I'm going to get ready to fix the boys something to eat. Fix me something to eat. Yeah. Y'all. It is so boring. It's going to be ugly. It's going to be an ugly day out today, too. So, I ain't really tripping about being in the house. Um, Last night, we did go back out. To go get some a couple of more groceries of course the grocery store and stuff is empty as y'all already know i'm sure but you know we did go out and get stuff when it first happened um but basically not not this thursday but last thursday we had went out and got stuff <clears throat> the thursday before my birthday but it was my birthday the 12th. Well, not nah, this stuff because that was when the kids was when they got out of school. So, yeah, we had went out and got stuff that day. And the grocery stores and stuff was already empty when we went and got stuff then. But, of course, we've been in the house. Kids been home from school for a whole week. So, you know, of course, food and stuff get gone quickly. So, we had to go out to the store last night. And I had my mask and stuff because Robert, um, you know... He gets the real kind of mask, the ones that keeps the virus out because he uh, works for county, you know, so he got the thick ones. I'll show you my mask. Because I got a couple of them. Here go one he got. Here go my mom's. She ain't wore hers yet. But these little thick ones, we got a couple of those. So I got me one of those masks to wear to the store. Um, Put my little gloves on, went on out there to the store or whatever yesterday. And they still did not have no meats left, y'all. Only meats they had. Oh, my bagels. Y'all. Oh, 
Lord, my bank was burnt. Oh gosh, it's smoking. Oh. I'm here talking to y'all. Y'all ain't gonna tell me. Oh. Look at him. I can't eat this. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna make some more bagels. I can't eat this. I'm devastated. Oh, but anyway, went to the store. And of course, all the meat was gone. Um, on the head was like some personal oxtails left. Like you did a little bag packs of oxtails and like little burgers. Um little frozen burgers or whatever. No ground beef, no chicken, no turkey, nothing, that kind of stuff. No sausages, nothing like that. Um, I did. I was able to get some sandwich meat, uh, a little bit of vegetables, some dry beans, some rice, big bag of rice, hamburger helper, because we do got ground beef here in the house already. And I need to clean up all this stuff, y'all. Um, but yeah, we was not able. Got some cereal. Wasn't able to get too much stuff last night. So I'm like, oh, Lord have mercy. Thank God when everything first happened, Robert was so panicky. Well, not panicky, but he was just like, he wanted to make sure we straight. So he made sure like he went out and he had got tissue and all this stuff like that. But I'm like, food giving out and we got to go and we got to keep trying to get to the store and get what we can a little bit at a time. But I'm like, we just have to start throwing meals together because there's nothing that we can go to the grocery store and just like buy. Like, I can't go to the grocery store and buy a full meal. So, yeah, this is it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting, but I did get a few more things. Of course, like I said, the boys are home, so they gotta eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, snack, you know, stuff like that. So, they be killing them snacks and stuff. And y'all, RJ gonna start making his own sandwiches. For him and not Jeremiah. I can't now say it's to watch him make a sandwich the other day because he wants to cook some eggs and I had to watch him cook the eggs on the stove because you can't touch my stove when I ain't downstairs watching him. So when he was making a sandwich, I just, I'm just told him, he said, take a look over there at him. Honey, he put two pieces of meat and two pieces of cheese on one sandwich for both of them. I said, no, sir, when you make a sandwich, it is one piece of meat and one piece of cheese. Do not do that no more. Like, we do not have food to just be going through like that. Oh my Lord have mercy. But yeah, so that's what's going on. I'm mad because I'm going to have to throw these little bagels away because I really cannot eat this. It's like, it's not even salvageable. I can't even eat it. Oh, maybe get out of here. Maybe some more bagels and pay attention. Yo. Responsible Tika stepped in, and I thought about Tika. It's hardly any food in the grocery store, so you can't be wasting food. So I tried to scrape the burnt off of these and eat them anyway because I don't want to waste my food. Because it was a blessing that we was able to find some egg on bagels because the bread I was about cleared out too. So I'm just gonna have to eat these little nasty burnt bagels because I can't waste no food, honey. Too many mouths in this house to be wasting the food. Oh well. Yes. All right, y'all. Um, so I'm back upstairs in the room. I feast the boys their food. And I had me, my little stuff, whatever. And now I'm just sitting in the bed with Jacob. He's in my arm sleep. So this arm right here is kind of like, he laying on this one or whatever. And I'm just sitting here chilling. Ain't nothing going on. It's actually very boring in the house. But everybody's kind of in the house because y'all know what's going on. Um, everybody on quarantine right now. So we're just sitting here chilling, trying to um, just relax or whatever. Watching movies and stuff today. That's really all we got planned. I'm trying to make sure I upload because I know that I feel like this glare is in the way. Um, I'm trying to upload because I don't want to keep like starting and stopping. 
I don't want to keep starting and stopping because you know I have a history of doing this so I'm trying to stay consistent although it's nothing to do today but I know I did not upload the other day so I'm trying to stay uploading and doing right so forgive me if this vlog is boring but we ain't doing that and I got a crick in my neck y'all Jacob you gotta work with mommy I got a crick in my neck and I feel like this little glare from the window right here is all in the camera Oh well. That woman in there was the woman I raised you to be. Confident, smart. He knocked out. Independent. I'm happy he's sleeping though, cause I told y'all he had a rough night. He need to get his sleep on out. But I'ma try to come back on here if we do anything fun. I doubt we're gonna do anything. But yeah. <laughs> Say hey. I at least put him on some little clothes today, but I still ain't out now. What's wrong? You was just fine. What's wrong? Uh, yeah. Y'all hear that noise? I don't know what the kids in there doing. Oh, they in there wrestling, making all that noise. <laughs> all right, he getting cranky, y'all. Oh my gosh, y'all. Let me show y'all what's going on. Let me show y'all what's going on. Do this. Can y'all see? Oh my gosh. <sighs> so let me tell y'all what done happened. So we're sitting in my mom room watching TV and we just hear a whole bunch of gunshots. Sound like a machine gun. And the boys ran in the room. What was that? What was that? They scared. So finally we looked out the window, seeing what's going on. We see my neighbors and stuff coming out their doors. They looking like what's going on too. Police is called, as you see, it's police right here in front of my house uh, with the car turned and then this police um, at the entrance. You can't come in, they got blocked off. And then on each other phase. It was a whole shootout. It's so dark, I can't show y'all right now. But in front of my driveway, there is six shells and then across from my house it's a park y'all probably not seen it in some of my videos um it, like i say it's nighttime so you're not gonna be able to see it and then across from it, it was shots over there apparently it was an altercation that took place tonight at the park somebody was at the park and then somebody came at the foot of my driveway and they were shooting and so it is shots i mean shells in front of my driveway it happened right here in front of my house and i'm just like Praise God that nobody was hurt. I'm glad that everybody was in the house and that no bullets came through my house. No bullets came and hit any of us, nor our cars, and we were okay. The neighbor across the street, their daughter car was hit a couple of times with the bullets. And it's just so scary. Rob was at this um at work, so I had caught him. I put him on video check so you could see what was going on. And literally, they had little things. They got little numbers and stuff out there. They've been on the side of the house and everything. And still finding more bullets and everything like that. It was a whole thing that took place. And I'm just shaking up. RJ was very scared. He was crying because um, he was worried about my brother. So we prayed and everything like that. But it is just a very scary situation. I want to come on here. I hate that y'all can't really see what's going on um, right now because it's dark but as you see you seen one police officer and it's and then um let me go upstairs and see if y'all can get a better look i'm in my room i'm trying to see if i can see a little more see this is down police cars right there and then i can see someone's over that way they have taken the little they put the little flat cones out to count the shields and they had the little thing with the numbers on it they then took those up and took pictures and stuff 
But y'all, that was so scary. Now I'm shaking up. Arjun, he was shaking up. I prayed with him. He kind of sat down. Jeremiah done went to sleep now. Arjun, he's just like, he just laying in the room looking at TV. I asked if he wanted to sleep with me. He said, no, he okay. Um, but y'all, that was a scary situation. Um, people doing too much. Like with all this that's already going on out here, you supposed to be in the house anyway. You supposed to be in the house doing, just trying to stay from around people because everybody getting sick. And instead you out here shooting and doing all this. Like people doing crazy stuff. Go lay down, RJ. Stop being nose. What's going on? Go lay down. Yeah, just be, you know, in the house and stuff and seeing people out here doing stupid stuff and it's just crazy but i'm going ahead and end this vlog here i know i still look a mess it's the same day it's just nighttime i look a mess but i'm just i'm grateful and i thank god that he watched over us me and my loved ones and all you know our properties over over us and just kept all of us safe and all of our stuff safe even my neighbors thank him for keeping my neighbors and stuff safe i'm glad his daughter wasn't in her car because she normally be out there in the car listening to music and stuff i'm just glad everybody was okay and the guy kept us all safe and i just pray they catch whoever was doing it but y'all have a wonderful night and i'll talk to y'all in the next vlog bye